Choose your own adventure, the Digivolt Volunteer Experience. G'day, this talk was recorded on Durrawal Country on the New South Wales South Coast. I'd like to pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging. We are truly blessed to live, work and play in this beautiful landscape. My name is Adam Woods. I am lucky enough to be part of the Citizen Science team at the Australian Museum on Gadigal lands in Sydney. I have worked in volunteer management and citizen science for the past 10 years, and I am here today to talk to you about the Digivol website, the program I currently coordinate. The Digivol website is a crowdsourcing platform that was developed in 2011 by the Australian Museum in collaboration with the Atlas of Living Australia. Digivol was initially created to meet an increasing need to support the digitisation of collections held in museums and to make these digital records accessible to people around the world. As Digivol evolved, it became an open source platform that facilitates institutions from all over Australia and indeed the world, creating opportunities for volunteers to contribute to transcription and data capture from images. In a world where there are several websites crowdsourcing the transcription of documents, images, and more recently video and audio, Digivol has maintained a consistent and productive volunteer community. One of the most frequently asked questions from colleagues working in this area is, how do you keep your volunteers interested? In the interest of sharing what we have learned at Digivol, which could also be applied to a broad range of citizen science projects, I will share three key factors that we believe are driving our ongoing success. The first factor I would like to highlight is diversity of projects and expeditions. At Digivol, we broadly categorise our expeditions into three main categories. Firstly, field notes, specimen labels, and camera traps. Further to this, within these expedition types, the subject matter varies quite distinctly. Volunteers on Digivol in recent months have transcribed felt report survey responses following the Newcastle earthquake, identified species in camera trap images monitoring post bushfire recovery on the Kangaroo Island Dunnart, and transcribed plant labels from epiphytes all over the world. This is just a small taste of the adventures our volunteers are taking every day. The second factor I would like to highlight today is the depth of experience available to volunteers throughout Digivol. Volunteers can scratch the surface by applying their knowledge of Australian fauna, or dive deep into the history behind collections and objects housed in some of the world's leading research institutes. At the Australian Museum, for example, volunteers are key to not only imaging and transcription of information, but with additional training become validators or quality control for all the transcriptions that take place on the Digivol platform. This places trust in the volunteer and provides an even deeper insight into the collections, how they are managed and how the data is being used. The thir third and final factor I would like to highlight today is communication. A cornerstone to any Australian Museum project is how we work closely with the volunteers and the broader community to be inclusive, share results, acknowledge effort and provide an educational experience for the volunteer. We do this through a range of tools, such as newsletters, webinars, online forums, surveys and feedback. We strongly believe our success is linked to this dialogue between ourselves as the face of Digivol, the institutions who use our platform and the ongoing feedback provided by volunteers. As I wrap up, I hope I have demonstrated how Digivol is an example of how a thoughtful, volunteer-centred approach can create opportunities for volunteers to contribute their varied skills. I have no doubt that we, what we have learned along the way can help continue to grow and evolve citizen science for everyone involved. If you would like to learn more about Digivol, or you or someone you know has a project that can enrich the offering to our volunteer community, then please get in touch. Thanks for listening.